Hello everyone, my name is Captain. and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 63 of the Wasteland Warrior series, so we have ourselves a Horde Knight tonight. Going to start off by running over here to the trader. He hadn't reset anything yet, but I did get a couple things I need to sell. And I'm going to see how much ammo he has. I really feel like I'm good on ammo, and of course he still has no freaking candy here It's useful. But I, I'm going to go ahead and get as much as possible, just in case. If things go terrible, I don't want to be completely what gone. Well, let's just see here. I'm going to sell just a couple things. Like, we got this extra club. can sell that. I put, let me see, the pocket mod I found there last time. can sell that. We'll see some gold, some silver, and my old shovel. That's pretty much it. And I got a decent chunk of other stuff here. Two full stacks of cash. Now, I'm going to guess that you don't have anything that I actually need in here, but I thought I would at least kind of check just to see if maybe I missed something from last time. And I don't really see anything that's like, <gasps> buy me! So let's check over here under the uh, weapons and ammo. 44, let me see, 9mm, I could probably go ahead. I'm going to use a lot of this. I'm going to just buy it. And I realize it would probably behoove me to have the candy, but I don't care. I, I've got money to burn, basically. Uh, let me see, I guess I could get some Magnum ammo, since I do use that during the, the Horde. I'm just going to buy what he has here. All right, now, do you have anything as far... Oops, wrong one. Do you have any, let's see, forged steel? I could buy... Dang, that's a lot. Eh, I got money to buy. I got money to burn. I'm going to go ahead and buy all of you here. It's a decent chunk of change. Go ahead and combine you there. Now we don't have two full stacks, but we're doing okay. I really, really wish you had another full auto, shot, uh, an auto shoddy here that's better than the one I'm currently using, but you don't. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, whoops, I don't know why I turned that way. Here, I'll even close your door. It'd be nice. All right, so we got a horde night, so we're not going to do too crazy, too much crazy stuff. I know there's a vending machine inside this building, but if y'all remember, right, there's a bear inside there too that likes to respawn, and I really don't want to deal with the bear. Now we dealt with the bear fairly well last episode. We bounced him around the parking lot in our vehicle here, and somehow or another didn't seem to be able to kill him. I don't know what the deal was, but we just couldn't friggin' kill him. All right, so let's see what I'm going to do. Just for now, so I don't have to run back upstairs, I'm going to put you, 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 and you in there. Just in case on the off chance I forget it's there. I'll need these doing the repairs, and I'll need those to do the shooty-shoot stuff. And the rest of it is in there. Alright, so, I think I remember... What, oh, hang on. You know what? Before I do anything... See how good my backing up skills are. Man, look at... Oh, look at that. Dude. That's just the best backing up skills you've ever ever seen, and don't even lie. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab just a repair kit real quick because we damaged our vehicle a little bit last time. You know what? I'll grab two just in case. And see, I do have a what, wrong one. Bunch of nine mil. I have a bunch of ammo down here for all the other different kinds of weapons. We should be okay on doing things like that before the horde actually starts. I've got tons of 7.62 ammo, which we went through a lot last time because we were stupid and forgot the supplies we needed to be able to repair everything, basically. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Okay. Let's see. Refuel and repair. There we go. That's pretty good. Gas isn't full, but it's good enough. So anyway, what I'm going to try and say is so that we're not just wasting time. Dude's trying to get in the back door over there. There, I do want to go over to this other building over here where this other cracker book was. And I want to get inside it and hope that there is some books I didn't have. We got absolutely robbed in that last building. That It was a, it was a friggin' bookstore and all we got in there was paper. And that is just highway robbery right there. Okay, so it's this building right here we're coming up on. Right around this weird wobbly looking house here. This one right here. Okay, so there's a cracker book. There's a sign right there. All right, so I'm not sure exactly where we're supposed to go to get in. We could always just make a door if we wanted to. Okay, so I want to grab the last eye candy I have. Do I have everything? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and repair you. Put you down here. Put that up there. We should be good. I'm not worried about really the rest of the candy. Uh, let's see. I'll bring a half stack of this in case I fall. That helps with fall damage and in case you have a vending machine here. So basically, I just want to get in. We're going to loot this place, of course. I don't have much I have left to do on the, the Horde base to get it ready to go, as there's really not much there's left to do at all. Uh, no, I'm not taking any of you. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to take the good stuff. And speaking of, I need to put this on here. I don't really think that's going to help. Is there a door back here? That one's closed. Oh, that one's empty. Okay. Or not empty, but it's open. 
All right, so we got Kyle hanging out right there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, we got a couple of people that are got a bunch of runners. Dude's doing some weird diving stuff over there. He's trying to like jump over the line for the touchdown. They don't do that in football anymore because there's too many people getting concussions diving, diving head first into a tackle. It didn't work out too well for you either, did it? All right, it's going to take out a little bit. Let me see. That's that's bulletproof glass. I can't get through that. So y'all can just beat on that door for a little bit. I'll check to see if any of your buddies are here. Uh, I'm going to guess he's probably a runner too. Yeah. Hey, big mama, you're setting a bad example. Look. We got all the doctor's assistants, the PAs and stuff in there doing... Oh, hey, Sarge, what's up? Okay, so we just pissed off everybody in here today. Everybody in here is running. Ed, hey, back up, lady. Now, some people may say, Hey, Cap, is it a really good idea to waste a bunch of ammo right before Horde Night? Yes, of course it is. I'm using shotgun ammo. I don't use a lot of this during the Horde Night anyway. I use more 7.62 and... Uh-uh. Oh, you you suck. Hang on just a second. Pause. There we go. <laughs> you got the click. That wasn't cool. She hit me. Can you believe that? After all we've been through. Let the bodies hit. Oh, we just got a regular one ambling out here. Not anymore. Did you? Okay, so you aren't doing much, Mr. Creepy Crawly. Come on at me. Oh, you just got double tap and a headshot. Aim is actually doing okay today. There's, you know, there's been a few times, maybe, allegedly, that my aim has been a little bit off while we're making our way through this game. And I'm going to say that is not the case today. Come here, you. He went down. All right, so we got the roof opened up, so we could definitely have a chance for some stupid birds coming in at us. I'm just trying to make sure everything's nice and cleared before we do too. Oh, there's a glass there. It's like, what am I stuck on? Are you open? Two piece, and one of you's on fire. That worked out beautifully for me. Y'all, not so much. I don't know why they have a picture of Ben in the bathroom, but you know what? Whatever motivates you to, you know, <laughs> sque squeeze one out, I guess, is where I was going to go with that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time robbing things. I'll check food, of course, because free food's always, you know, useful. Might as well just keep everything going up, right? And we can scrap down the cans. Let me see. Are you hiding anything? Nope. I'm not really worried. I'll check the sinks because you have a chance to get books and schematics and stuff in there. But see, I'm going to scrap you. I'll take that, I guess. I don't really need it. Scrap you. Scrap you. But the rest of the stuff I'm just going to leave behind. These cabinets right here, there's not really a chance of me finding anything useful there. I'll show you. Let me see. Empty cabinet. Look, a can. Yeah, I can scrap it down for a couple pieces of iron, but I really don't need that much as far as iron goes cat food yummy oh hey what the hell why was that mounted up there who's trophy hunting half you know half of people yeah i realize that somebody could have killed what oh more glass what the hell am i oh okay tell you what i'm just gonna go around this are you got anything in you nope maybe the one over on this side does though hey we got nothing I mean, mining's fine. I don't do that much mining. Ugh. Wait, you know what? Coffee. We never seem to have any coffee on us here. What's down there? Besides the broken leg. Alright, so again, we're just kind of checking the, the main things here. I don't really want to spend a lot of time looting this place. I want to get the books, basically. Uh, I'll take you. I don't really need the other thing, though. The blood bags is only useful if I'm crafting some stuff. Sure, I'll take those because they stack. All right, y'all have anything good in here at all? It's like I'm not the first one in here. Ooh, got a safe. Let's check what's in here real quick. Yeah, first try. Something good? Iron arrows. I don't need those. I'm not even carrying a bow. Here, I'll just scrap you down. There we go. What about you? You had anything? Not a single freaking thing. Well, not much in the popping pills here. I think the cracker book is upstairs. We'll check these registers first, see how much money we can get out of them. If, like I said, if there's a sink, we'll check those because sometimes you can get a book. I'll take the acid just because sometimes you do need acid for things. And teas are fine. Tell you what, here, I will leave my broken glass right there for you. We'll trade. I'll take your money. You can have my broken glass. Free wood's always good. We'll take that. 
Not much in the way of registers over here, but maybe I can access... Oh, there we go. Say, hey, there's a recipe. Gumbo stew. I don't know how to make that. That's nice. Awesome. I'm glad we actually got something useful that we didn't already know. Here, scrap that. I'm leaving the coffee behind. Wait. Maybe there's something back here that's useful. Another sink. And I don't need your lead. I'm not I'm not really that hard up for lead. And I'm not taking... Okay, you, you convinced me. I'll take it. And scrap it down. There we go. Let me out. Uh, sure. More acid. Again, if I don't have to craft these kinds of things, it's okay to have, but I'm not going to spend a ton of time. Ooh, more ammo and acid. Nice. All right, so we're getting a couple things in here. Oil's not a horrible thing. Storage shelf with nothing. I, you're a liar. I can see, look, something. There's right there. It's a can of Pringles. Give me those Pringles, man. They are Pringles. Look, it's got the... the it's not, you know, Mr. Smiley Mustache dude on here and stuff, but come on, you can't lie to me and tell me that's not a can of Pringles. Oh, nice! Grandpa's learning elixir. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! What do we need? I've been trying to find the ability to make that. Grandpa's learning elixir. Alright, dog food, red tea, bottle acid, and beer. I've got all that at home. I got some of that on me with me here. Nice! The learning elixir is what gives you, like, um, twice as much experience or something like that. And the moonshine I can make, which is good, and the awesome sauce, which is good. I think this helps with, uh, yeah, it just helps with better deals. But that's fantastic. We finally got that. Anything back here? Hello? Nice. This is, we've, so far, we've already topped what we got over in the bookstore. That's fantastic. Yeah, I know this is a multi-store. You would expect to have more things in it than just book stuff. All right, so this is the front door. It's nice and barricaded. More random glass let me what let me <laughs> what, what, what am I <laughs> that's just like nope you're not getting in here we're putting this secret tiny little piece of glass right here so you can't get in here uh clothing I am not getting that I'm not gonna bother all of those they'll probably have just a whole bunch of stupid shoes in there and I could scrap them down I could okay so somebody put this here is definitely just trolling me all right let's see if Ben's hiding anything back here in the crapper not worrying about the toilets. We'll check the sinks again. Nope. Nothing in there. We're going to try and get through this one as quickly as possible. Obviously because we have a horde night going on. And I don't want to waste too much time. Lock picks. Nice. But I also don't want to. I don't need to get done too early basically. Just because. Well it is a horde night. So we're not going to be worrying about trying to stay the night somewhere. Or anything like that. Because well obviously we have a horde night coming in here. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that oh that's just wood okay so it's just painted wood that's cool though all right so I'd say the bottom is good to go I want to see I know you're trying to protect me for myself but I want to see what's down there I really want to see what's down there let's see here uh I'm just trying to see is there there's something down there there is something down there okay we're gonna we're gonna go get this this may not even be the right way to do it but this is the way we're gonna go Medical pile hidden underneath with grain alcohol. I don't need that. All right, now let's try not to break an ankle. Yeah, baby. We did it with nothing broken. All right, let's go upstairs. We've got a working stiff tools up here. I'm going to guess that everything didn't spawn in up here. Oh, hey, what's up? I hear spider monkey. Eddie coming at me. Ow. Oh, hey there. Okay, keep an eye on what's behind you. Oh, yeah. Spider monkey. Uh oh. Got a football player. All right, we need to go ahead and read. Hey, there's the cracker book. Come at me, bro. Two piece. Okay, so the floor is barely held together here. All right, come on. Y'all are tripping over each other. So y'all are running around the hole. Well, one of you did. Back up, dude. Hey, I said back up. Alright. So we got a Jiggly Bits coming at us. Two of them. Sarge, are they with you? I mean, no hate. You do what you gotta do. Times are tough. And war is tough. and Oh, she's showing off a thong gun on there, too. That's that's interesting. Oh, I, I'd help you out, man, but I can't. The door's locked. I got my own things to deal with, too, here. Got a conga line of tweakers over here. Hey! Okay, we got more than just Kong. All right, we're going to go this way a little bit. 
Okay, 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 okay. We need to probably... Damn! It's raining zombies. All right, we're going to lead y'all towards this way. Can kind of funnel you in a little bit here. Can get some headshots in. Okay, we need to go back this way. Damn! Okay, where's that door I came in? That's This is the front door. Reload fast. Uh-oh. Damn you, people. We need to get outside. This is getting a little bit tough. Everything everything spawned in over here. Okay, so we got an abrasion and we got an infection. Kyle's coming at us here. You know what? Tell you what, Kyle. Oh, we ran out of freaking stamina right before we made the jump. Okay, so we can use some painkillers. That'll get some of our life back up. Okay, that one may have gone slightly bad. Just maybe. See, that'll help with the abrasion. I'm not worried about the infection. The health will go back up a little bit. Okay, this bunch of idiots are putting up a fight here. Get our life to go back up just a little bit, and we'll go back in and finish clearing this place out. What's up, Gary? Okay, so so for some of y'all, I can 9mm it up here. Just double tap to the chest. I know ADSing is a little better, but ADSing is a little bit wonky. If you miss, then you're stuck in an ADS, and somebody pooped out a bag. You can go for just basic headshots as y'all are funneling in towards me. Work smarter, not harder. I just want to make sure nobody's coming up behind me. Marlene over there coming up to say, Hey, what's up? Don't let at me, lady. Can't you... Look. Whoops. Oh, man. That was just fantastic. Hit. Trying to hit me with the, out of the head. And we got a screamer in there. Samara? I don't think so, lady. Man. This is quite the quite the gathering. Shoot you right in the boobs. Glenn, you need to just lay down. Clank, and we leveled up. Okay. Another screamer. No. There are enough of your... Ow! Oh, hell. There are enough of your stupid friends over here. Don't call anymore. Can't scream if you don't have a head. Well, if this is any kind of indicator as to how the horde now is going to go tonight, I'm not really looking forward to it. Our aim has been a, it's been a little okay, but I think I jinxed myself when I said, "Hey, you know my aim's doing good and all that stuff." I probably shouldn't have said. I'll check this one real quick. Put my back to the world. Uh, stun baton. Well, that's fine, I guess. I'm not going to make one. I think I have some money and some sham can of sham. All right, is everybody finally done being mad at me? What's up, Frank? And I hear a damn snake. Which one of y'all let the snake in here? Okay, what am I backing over? A trash can? I forgot to search you. Your wobbly bits are on fire, sir. We're just going to do this quick, fast, and in a hurry. Anything in here? Nice. Nail gun schematic. I have one already. And one lockpick. But it's nice that I can actually make my own now. Cool. All right. Oh, there's a downstairs, too. That's where the snake is. All right, we're going to finish going upstairs. I want to get into the Kraken books, the whole reason I came over here. And the working... I don't know what you're doing, but... That snake is going to figure out how to climb up two sets of escalators, isn't it? I'm going to be up here just minding my own business. I'm going to get bit right in the butt by a snake. I can already sense it. Are we cool for half a damn second? I think I see somebody over there in the... You know what? Hang on. Let's do the crack of book first, just in case. Anybody in here? I'm coming in. Well, alrighty then. Okay, so we clear for a friggin' second. Good to go. Let's some book oh man not that crap again paper i found better stuff in wait what book pile equals random help what <laughs> that's ooh a book i already have but at least it's a book um i'm not, i don't know what's going on with that one here is that just a there's nothing behind okay that's weird any of y'all hide anything fruit you hide anything dude no, no. All right. Well, nothing in the register. Nothing behind the register. I'm going to guess. What? Okay. That's just weird. There's not much in that one. 
That's empty. Come on, something. Paper. You know what? That's not cool. That is not cool even in the slightest. We'll check the backpacks. There's not going to be anything useful in there. Carrot seed or potato seeds. Eh, I might as well just drink you after everything we just went through. I'm probably pretty thirsty. I will go ahead and get those just in case. <sighs> Random freaking glass panels just laying around. All right, let's go in here. Let me in your shop. Why is there so much glass around there? Uh, see, that would have been useful because that would help out with... Oh, I didn't get a laceration. I got an abrasion, and I had this stuff to fix that one. Money! Ooh, gotta get the safe. Let me in. First try. Come on, right here. We did not get down on the first try. It took us the third try. Some knuckles. Nope. And nope. And M60. I could sell that. And some ammo to go with it. Well, that's... That's something. Search any of these desks. Sometimes you get lucky in the desk. Sometimes you find some stupid cowboy boots. Uh, might as well definitely want to take those. And no, on that one too. Lockers are guaranteed to have clothes I don't need. I got all of those. And this is where we kind of poked our head in earlier. And now we go check that Shotgun Messiah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> now we'll go check out the Shotgun Messiah. See if there's anything in here. Equipment rack, nice. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, nope, nothing in there. Uh, one thing of water is okay. Yucky stuff right there. Sure, I'll take that. Don't even care at this point. I'm happy to just leave with your crap after you, what y'all put me through. This one's uh, this one was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I expected a little bit of a fight. I'm not just assuming I was going to walk into an empty building here, of course. But I did not expect to be overrun by idiots and, uh... Oh, honey, nice. We're going to use that get that infection going back down. I don't have to use the one I have laying down. I'll leave some glass behind for you. An empty jar. Scrap you. Leave the paper because I don't freaking care about your paper. And I'll drink a beer just to celebrate. God, that's a buzz. I'm feeling ratty. Come on. We'll, I'll, I'll punch you, man. Come on. I'll, I'll, I'll merge with you. Oh, we definitely got to tear those down. Money. A little bit of money. Somebody left a purse behind. Finders keepers. I'm not taking your blood bag. And don't know why you have that in a surf. In a purse. A surf. Well, we didn't get that one on the first try either. But we got a little bit of ammo for it. So that's not terrible. Ammo. Nice. Search. Break you down. More ammo would be okay. There we go. That's behind any of the pictures. Is there anything else in here? Make sure there's not any plugs. I'll search you just in case. Uh, sure, I'll take you. Free water. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just chug both of those real quick. Just to get them out of my inventory, get the water back up. I don't have to use my good water. Okay. Uh, let's see. What a Again? Really? What do we have over here? Passing gas? Eh, might as well check it. If I could find some more gas, that would be great. Gas I don't have to make. Empty register, of course. Yeah, okay. Take Drinks are always cool. I'm okay with that. That, I think I can... Uh, no, I need to use this door right here. There we go. You don't get a whole lot for those, but you get a little bit. A battery and a spring. Ooh, nice. Hang on. I need to get this. Put you right here. Forge steel and forge iron is always okay, too. And a duffel bag with a little bit more water in it. I think I actually clicked the right button to take that. I did not. And I think that's it as far as this room. Okay. And, wait, what is... We, we already went in... Wait, did we go in this one? I think I went in this one. Or I was trying to get in this one. What's the way to get in? Okay, so that is the way to go in there. Alright, so I think that's everything up in the top level. Not taking that. I don't think I don't think I checked this room here. I'm only looking for the really obvious stuff right at the moment, lady, so you can you're you can rest assured I'm not gonna take any of your valuable stuff. Nope. Not gonna bother even scrapping that one down. Nice, electrical parts are okay. I do need to go downstairs to see what's down there. Maybe there's a snake. Has he figured out how to get upstairs yet? Still stuck, huh? I'm sorry, man. What do we have down here? It's just a parking garage. I know I could take apart a bunch of cars, get a whole bunch of stuff for them. But I don't have the time for it. 
Are you just an ambler man? Oh, shoot! Crap! Damn dog. <laughs> you, you startled me, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't hear you. Bunch of construction workers again. Don't look at me. Oh, y'all done messed up. That's your fault. You did that. If y'all gonna be firing workers, uh, filing workers comp, it was that dude right there. He's the one that did this. Whoops. There we go. Are you down, down? Good to go. Man, we are, uh, we're not doing too well on our reflexes today for some reason. <laughs> that is not, uh, really? That's all that's down here? A freaking wooden tube club? I'm gonna guess there's nothing behind that either. Floating car. I know it's supposed to be up on a jack or something here, but I'm... Wait, where do you go? Oh, locked. And nothing over here. Random trash in the corner with nothing in it. Okay, well. This one wasn't specifically a bust, I guess. But it wasn't like, yay, they found some good stuff. There was nothing down here other than just some zombies to blow up. We need to just get back home. That's what we need to do. Thank you all for making a door for us. I thought I could fit underneath that. Clearly not. <laughs> well, let's go see who this dude wants. Bruce, what you up to, man? Sorry, I'm just not in the mood to put up with your stuff right now. Not in the mood in the slightest. Park, oh, I was about to say, park the things like it's got a flat tire. Do I have anything on here that's just, hey, I need you with me right this second? No. Uh, let's see, I'll put you in there and you in there. Is there anything else that I would normally keep inside that I don't need with me right now? Uh, I'll put the Magnum in there just because I use it for, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, this, I did bring that stuff in there. Put you, you, and that's mechanical parts. Where the electrical parts go? Where? There you are. I'm going to need you over there in a minute. Okay. Well, that was fantastically fun. Uh, we did get the um, awesome sauce, which, uh, let me see if I can make the awesome. Wait, it's uh, learning elixir. Can of dog food, red tea, bottle of acid. I already have that. So I need beer, red tea, and dog food. Wait, did that say dog food or was that cat food? That's dog food. All right, do I have dog food? I have dog food, red tea, and plenty of beer. Put you over here. Let's see. Grandpa. Tell me about the good old days. Can I make two? I can make two. Sweet. You just churn away and do your thing. We'll get some learning elixir on. Alright. Let's drop off some crap that we don't need right at the moment. Alright. Should be good to go. Got all our ammo. Got some learning elixir. We go over here. We got, it from, we got some repairs to do around the base. Just a little tiny little touch-ups, of course. Nothing, nothing dramatic or anything. Did I close you? I didn't. And let's see. Go ahead and get all of this. Ah, there we go. We should be okay on supplies this time. Let me see here. All right. So we got electrical parts. I think I need to go check and see if I have some more of those. This I'm going to put right here so I can remember to take that, hopefully. All of this is ammo I will use for tonight. We got some more shotgun shells down here in case we need it for the auto shoddy. We've got, we have a much better Magnum at home, that's for certain. You know what? Uh, let me do this real quick first. Here, let me get you and then go bam, 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 and bam, like that. Let's do all the upgrades and the repairs that we need to around the base first. Make sure there's nobody down here. Okay, I'm going to do the whole run up and down thing, so I'll be back in just a second. All right, I think we got everything upgraded. I'll double check, you know, maybe a couple of spot things here. She's coming up to say hi. Oh, we don't have us a small whore dealing with. I saw the lighting, but we didn't get the crack. Through. We don't have a whole lot of time, so we're not gonna be wasting a lot more time. I think we had a group of idiots show up in this parking garage, the last horde. What's up, Bruce? You got anybody in there with you? I don't think so. All right, so we don't have a lot of time left. Like I said, let me go through and make sure. Oh, crap. That's that's right. We need to get over to the trader real fast, which I don't have a lot of stamina. All my uh, cement that I made in the mixers over there, and I'm sure if I were to make a guess, I would say that somebody in the comments has already said, Hey, Cap, did you know you left your cement in the mixer over at the trader's house? To which point I would say, yes, 
I did. Watched a little bit later in the video. <laughs> I may have forgot at the very beginning, but I remembered eventually. Yeah. Did you finish doing your thing? You did. Good job. Very good. Nice. All right, so we can use this to top off a few of the blocks. I'm not going to bother upgrading any more of the blocks. If I was going to do that, I should have done that this morning. So I'd have plenty of time to cure before tonight. Because if I did it right now, it would just be wet concrete blocks. And that would not be cool. Okay, God, you're whiny here. I'll, let, I'll just walk slowly so you can get some of your stamina back up here. And I'm aware that I'm sprinting just nonchalantly. But still, get over it, man. Um, I guess while I'm here real quick... What I need to do is I need to run into the base real quick because I have a better magnum than that level 2 since I'm actually using it. And uh, there was something else I needed. Oh, yeah, more ele electrical parts if I have any. Did I bring any in here? Let me sort this because that's just ugly. Electrical parts. There we go. And as far as we weapons go, we have a level 5 that I definitely need to replace. Let me see. I can put one stack of that over there. Tools. Let me get this real quick. I need, definitely need to repair these things. I think I have some repair tool. I think I have some over at the other place. But I should probably bring these with me just in case. Alright, get y'all doing your thing real quick. We'll get over here. Finish topping off some stuff. And we'll be good to go. We got a lot going on this episode, I have to say. Alright, so you I can fix. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, y'all y'all didn't do much to these. You kind of just gave them a little love tap. That's okay. The rest of these, let's see. Did you do anything to any of these things over here? Just barely. No, I didn't mean to do that. That's what I saw. I, it's stupid. Stop clicking on things so quickly, Cap. You're going to end up causing problems here, you dork. All right, so the top-level things, I'm not worried about those can fix all the wood. I should upgrade these to iron bars here because I have the resources to do so, but so far <laughs> I'm not I'm not even gonna say it. I'm I'm not I'm not even gonna say it. You can't convince me to say it. It hasn't been that bad. Oh my god you said it kept I will upgrade those though. They're just because if he's gonna come flying up here like this. Let's see are we good on you and you you're good to go. Those are up all right, so let's see. What I need to do here is I need to go ahead and basically spend some time to get everything upgraded to where it needs, or everything in my inventory the way it needs to go to be ready to go, if you know what I mean. Okay, good to go. Um, I want to check real quick just to see where we are here. So we're at game stage 124, so we shouldn't still see any demo zombies. 3,294. I won't remember that by the end, but we can compare here. And let's see on the other stats here. Let's see. Uh, no zombie bear since we installed this for stupid birds, two zombie or three zombie dogs, a wolf, a coyote. These won't go up during the horde, and the trap shooting the birds won't do anything for me here. So, there's the bell. Um, let's see, I should probably turn that on. You down there doing your thing now? All right, so now we're good to go. All right, we had we had a little bit of a hang up. All right. Not too bad. Again, this is going to be kind of a we'll, we'll see how much effort it takes for me to do this here. But, um, if I can keep the idiots from jumping up here, we should be good. We're stocked on ammo. Whoops. Here, I was trying to do it. Let me do this real quick here. So, I'm going to use one of these. It lasts for four minutes. So, I'm going to use one now. And then I'll use one when we get a little bit... Get a little bit closer to... Uh, middle of the night when the horde picks up. Because it, like, goes in waves and stuff here. So, we'll definitely kind of keep an eye out for it. We've got a nice irradiated zombie early on. We could definitely see some cops. Screw you, Sid. Go ahead and just help him out a little bit. Hey, what are you? What are y'all doing? You're sticking your head through my bars like that. It's just kind of crazy. We got like a radiated Sid up in here, and you need to hit the bars and stop. Shoot you in the spine. Shoot you in the head. We got a bunch of spiders here. All right, well that's okay. As long as they keep dying, I'm totally fine with that. Sledgey, you're doing a really good job. Don't ever let anybody tell me differently here. Um. Dude, they're trying to steal my Jeep. They're, they're trying to... I'm getting carjacked. You jackass trying to jump up here like that? I don't think so, Tim. Let me see. Just in case while I'm moving about here. That That's... Uh-oh. Dude, not cool at all here. We got a lot of spiders here. That's for friggin' sure. Another one. Alright, so you didn't make it. So the bars are helping a little bit. Uh, we get our customary screenshot here because that just looks beautiful. 
Yep, that's just fantastic right there. Beautiful, I tell you. Uh, let's see. I'll, that's something else too. Is before the horde, you notice I got my twenty molotovs. We, we got those as one of the rewards for doing a quest for Mr. Trader not too long ago, and I left them over the other base. So before I even got everything started, I ran over here. You know what? I am going to go ahead and take a painkiller. Helps with the damage mitigation. Uh, makes my water go down just a little bit here, but I should be okay. I'm going to use this, get it back up, and that way, if they do get some of these idiots to jump up here with me, then um, hopefully I won't take as much damage and have to deal with them. Oh, nice. I'll go ahead and take that. I don't have my looting goggles on. Um, not, I'm not going to take you right now. I've got too much other stuff with me right at the moment. This is fantastic. You know what? There's a, there's a plethora of you guys over here. Hefe. What is a plethora? Got a plethora of piñatas? Do you know what a plethora is? Ay, wapo. I am not as smart as you. Big Mama just got... Oh, man, we almost had a bobble there. That would have been bad. I mean, I can get back up. There's a ladder over there. Dude, they moved my truck. I better not get up there and find that thing up on blocks and my stereo missing. I'm going to be very pissed. I got some nice Bose speakers. Got a Yamaha CD player in there with the equalizer. Y'all know how it is. You know, back in the day, while we're sitting here just kind of hanging out. Uh-oh. Uh, can, I, can I repair you? There we go. And I, I forgot to check on y'all. My bad. Here, y'all, you can do your thing now. All right, so back in the day, a long time ago, like back in 2000, actually, I worked at Best Buy. We're going to do a little story time while we're sitting here just letting the uh, Horde base do all the work for me. No. Stupid. Stop it. I said stop it. So anyway, I worked at Best Buy for a couple years back in the 2000s, or like exactly 2000. And I worked in the merch department, meaning that after the trucks brought in everything and unloaded it from the trucks and logged into the system, the merch department is the ones, we're the ones who unboxed everything, put everything out on the floor, set up all the displays, all the top stock you see when you go into the store, or the boxes up on the shelves. We did all those. And it was exhausting work, but it was so much fun because I got to work with some pretty cool guys that made it a lot of fun. Ow. Anyway, the only reason I'm telling you all that is because back in early 2000, at Best Buy, the most popular kind of CD player that you get in your car, which everybody wanted, dude's trying to fly, you see that, was the more blinking lights and knobs and buttons, the more badass looking it was, and the more people wanted that, including myself. Um, now everybody just wants, you know, basically an auxiliary input, and I, I get that, you know, because people don't use CDs as much as more I do. I think I just canceled reload myself. What the hell are you trying to do, man? You trying to rub one out right here in front of me? Not cool. You just lost a head. I want to check on this real quick down here. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to tell a story and you're interrupting me here. So can you stop hitting me for a second? I'm trying to trying to check on this one. How, how are we on that one? And how... Okay, you're good. Anyway. So yeah, back in the day, the stereo that everybody wanted had the big equalizer, all the graphical stuff on there. Um, then there was the removable faces and stuff that you could get. And, you know, I had one of those. You push the little button, the whole freaking CD face fell off. and Or came off, I guess. That way people couldn't steal your CD player. It was just the way things were back in the day. And it was fun. Um, now, like I said, my new truck that I have, my, I have a 2020 F-150. And it doesn't even have a CD player in it. Now, I know that's not completely common now for new vehicles not to have CD players. But it's still... It still sucks, because I still listen to CDs, and yeah, you can say, oh, get with the times, old man. I still have a Generation 1 iPod that I used to listen to the majority of my music on, and uh, so yeah, it's um, it sucks that I don't have a CD player, because I still have. Man, that is fantastic looking, except for old Sid there, and that Sid there, that is cool. Look at that, man, hang on, that is BA looking right there. <laughs> here, let me help you out. He's getting in shock. Whoops, we had the wrong button here. Hang on. I turned on the frame rate here, so let me see. That's a F, is it F8? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> anyway, that's why I said, you know, the whole story time, you know, because they're trying to jack my stereo over there. You know, it's not as big a thing now if people don't worry about their CD players and stuff like we used to back in the day. And, uh, yeah, so, hey, what the hell are you doing up here, man? Are you lost? Dude, get back over there. 
There's a lot of dang sp Ow! Where'd you go? There's a lot of friggin' spider zombies in here, man. Hang on. You did some damage. I'll give you that. Here, I'm gonna use this. Get that health back up a little bit here. You gave me a little kick on the knee. I'm not a big fan. Big mama. Oh, see, some of them are kind of figuring out, hey, if I stand over there where Sledgy's at. Dude's got his tongue hanging out. <laughs> let's see, let's go to the hand cannon here. We don't use this much. Kind of just reserve this for Horde Knights, basically. I need to, uh-oh, Blade Trap's smoking, man. Okay, finish your reload animation so we can go over here and fix this. This is a big chunk of our fixing here. Let me get you going here. Stop hitting me. How are you doing? Need to repair you. All right. Y'all are still in business. I'm kind of helping out mostly with the spider zombies because they get stuck here and so Sledgy keeps trying to hit them. Ooh, nice. We got some uh, whites over here. Just go ahead and set y'all on fire. Oh, that's just beautiful right there. That is absolutely good. Cool. Look at all that. Man, that's just a carousel of awesomeness. Let's get another one in there. Absolutely beautiful. Y'all are just getting wrecked. You know what? I was going to say it. I, I don't want to say it. You know what I'm thinking here. I'm looking up at the skies and what I'm seeing. Uh, you're okay for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and repair you because you're my main line of defense here. If the electricity shuts off, bad things are happening. The airborne idiots that we normally deal with have not been around. And I don't know where they are. But I'm okay with that. Last time we had a fair number. Dude standing on top of the blades. Sid, you can go away. Man, this is just absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, I'm thinking that if I stood here and didn't do anything and just basically uh, shoot you in the butt talks and basically just let Sledge you do all the work here, that he would eventually knock these idiots off like that here. I'm just kind of helping out a little bit just to kind of keep things flowing here. You know what? I need to go ahead and let me see, finish the reload you. Go ahead and use you. Get a little bit more of that learning stuff going on here. Get some more experience. I think we're about to level up again, too, which would be great. Let's see if... Oh, I was about to say, I thought I saw a football player in there. I'm like, I don't think you see football players during Horde Night. Ow! You douche. Stop hitting me. It's a good way to cause me to die, man. Uh, let's see. My food's doing okay. I'm going to raise the gate here for just a second. Do I have anything in here? That doesn't give me any kind of health. That's a zero on the health level there. And these are all I'm kind of hanging on to just in case things go terrible, you know. I'll hang on to it a little bit here. I uh, Actually, no, I should go ahead and use another one of these. I get a little bit of health out of that and the damage mitigation because these idiots keep shooting me, so I might as well, right? This is fantastic. We're getting a lot of zombie kills, that's for sure. Oh, hang on. You, you take a lot of damage really fast, you know that? And so do you. Keep you going there. I <laughs> almost forgot. <laughs> Actually, I did forget if he got down to the point where he was needing to be repaired. Hey! No. Get off of me. Oh, great. Look what you made me do. I lost my hatch. Uh oh, you're going to have to reload faster, man. Okay, so I'm going to have to raise the bars up just a little bit higher. They're still managing to get over those a little bit, and that's not cool. It's not really cool at all. Let's see if I can do this without causing any problems. I think I just missed. There we go. Set all of y'all on fire. Let a couple more show up here. We got quite a few. Oh, great. That's just fantastic. Thank you for that, you dork. He jumped at me right when I threw the Molotov and set myself on fire. What an idiot. You're stuck, aren't you, you dork? That's why you don't come this way. All right, let me try this again without setting myself on fire. Hmm. There we go. We'll just do that right there. That's good. That's lovely. Y'all keep dropping on them bags. Uh, let's see. Health is okay. I need to... I need to oh, nice. Got two skill points. So how are you? You're doing some work, man. I don't have to... Yeah, you're definitely doing some work, and I appreciate that. That's what I appreciate about you. Let's just fire some straight down the line here. We got a bunch of radiated big mamas up in here. Oh, got to reload. Yeah, but I haven't seen any birds, and I'm incredibly thankful for that. 
I think typically the birds spawn in if the zombies see you as they can't get to you. Then it'll spawn in birds, so maybe the zombies see me as, oh, I can totally get to them now. So, who knows? We are absolutely, let me see, we got a minute and a half left on the learning elixir stuff. Man, that thing is just beasting them there. Here, let me help you out. You got you got some heavy duty ones there. You're doing a fantastic job, Sledgy. Don't let me tell you differently. Just trying to help you thin the herd just a little bit here, because it's getting a little bit uh, get a little bit hefty, and I don't want you to be completely, in, you know, inundated here. You're doing a lot of work for me. Let's just probably go ahead and check the. Oh, I knew you were gonna take a swing at me, you dill hole. Okay, now don't hit me. I need to check on the blade trap down here. How are you doing? Doing okay. Uh, top you off. Yeah, I could wait till it's a little bit lower to repair it, but I've already let it shut off a couple times. I don't want to do that again. Yep, you just got yeeted off there too. Okay, we're going to try the Molotov thing again without setting ourselves on fire. And go. Beautiful. That's just fantastic right there. Oh, we're coming up on 3 o'clock, and we've dealt with a lot of spider zombies. Not going to lie, a whole lot of them. And there's a chunk of radiated in there, but... I mean, other than the spider zombies getting here, we haven't had anything, really. Oh, I'm, I'm thirsty. I don't have a ton of water on me. I probably should have brought a little bit more. Let me see. Does this bring my water up at all? No. I'll use it, though. Food's getting a little bit low. How are you on ammo? You need to be reloaded. Okay. Y'all doing all right? The horde's kind of getting a little bit thinner. It's 3 o'clock now, so typically sometimes you can see a resurgence at about 3 o'clock here. 3 o'clock is the witching hour, you know. Let me help you out here. Just kind of thin the grouping up. Is there somebody inside my base? I think there's a spider zombie stuck in there or something. Get away from my freaking ha um, restaurant here. Uh-uh. Better reload before... Oh. Bad time to reload. Stupid. You know what? I should probably go ahead and fix you and fix you. Since you're doing damage to my base, I should probably make sure I don't accidentally blow myself up or anything. The bar is doing okay. Blade trap, how you doing? Now? Oh, you're you're need a little bit of love, and go ahead and top you off. Okay, doing all right. See, that's why you bring the necessary tools to repair crap like that, so you can just kind of sit back and enjoy the show. Oh, the show is beautiful. Look at that. Well, we got the moon in the background. That's just that's just lovely right there. Oh hell, I about did it again. Sid, <laughs> you stupid idiot. Wait, what happened, man? you uh break a leg <laughs> stupid oh damn where did you go did you make it all up to the roof some of these got their pf flyers on man they are definitely running faster and jumping higher i don't know what's going on but jeez yep Get knocked off. Oh, look at that. that. That'll teach you to run up here, you stupid idiot. Now, also, um, real quick, before anybody says anything, we're closing up at the end of the horde night, so we'll just have to clean it up and then, you know, go pick up all the loot. I will remember to put my stupid goggles on this time. I am saying it right now. I don't have any candy, though. I used all my looting candy that I had with me. Or at least, I'm pretty sure I did. I can double-check the vehicle, but I don't think there's any in it. Almost 4 o'clock, so I think this is going to be the end of the horde here. Definitely getting quiet. Hello? You sound like you're... There we go. Top you off. Y'all are good to go for next time. You know what? Just in case before I forget... Let me see how the bar's doing. Uh-oh, we lost a row of bars. Eh, nah. We hadn't had that happen yet. Well, it's okay. This go ahead and top you off, top you off. Yep, y'all did some y'all did a little bit of work this time. I'm not gonna lie. Oh 
stupid. <laughs> Come on, Cap. This is an amateur hour. Give it up, man. How about you don't do that? Let's go around this way. Need to get up there and turn the battery off. All that stuff. They made another window. They tried robbing me last time. There's nothing in the register, and I don't keep any of my beer in there. Let's see. Turn you off. Okay, we're good to go. So now I need to make sure this is on. Nice. Okay, I need to put a ton of this ammo back up in here and all this stuff. Okay, put you down here. And I realized that I should probably... Did I put the goggles on? I did. I'm going to double check real quick, just in case. I don't think I have any looting canning anywhere, but I'll, I'll double check because I know y'all will not let me let it go if I don't. But put you, you, and you down here. Stuff like this. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll, I'll put you all over there. I'm going to leave this and stuff just in case I actually need to fight something off. Do you have any candy in you? Nope. What about you? Nope. So you're going to be my last hope for candy. And... Oh, I do have a looting candy. Nice. Ha-ha. Victory is mine. Yes, I'm going to take it. I'll remember to do that this time. Okay, so last time we forgot the goggles. We have those on. We got the looting candy on. We got space in our inventory. We should be good. Now, let's see if we can get some good stuff here. Military fiber? I think that's what it is. Alright, got some antibiotics. Got a level 4 uh, impact driver. Ooh, we got some NVGs. Nice! And a level 6 knife. Knife? I think it's a level 6 knife. You know, I'm just going to take you here. Or eat you real quick. Food's probably a little low anyway. BDU. Ding dong knocker. Forged iron. Money. A baker. More money. I'm cool with ammo. Got some more herbal antibiotics. Food and water. Cowboy hat. We'll just scrap it down. Can't get much for that. Level 1 junkie. And some gloves. Cornmeal. We'll take that. We got us a treasure map. Or a, a note. Chunk of food. More ammo. Parts and stuff. A jacket we don't need. And my inventory is going to be full. Okay, I need to do a combined drop, get rid of some crap real quick. Uh, be, uh, military vest is pretty okay. Military fiber, you don't get too many of those. And MVGs, I'm definitely going to hang on to. This, I'm not going to use. I could sell it. Let me see. Scrap you. I'll get rid of the cornmeal. Read you. Kill some tourists. All right, can do. Uh, let's see. Scrap you. Scrap you. Your parts to a machete. I don't need you. Scrap this down. I don't need another beaker. Uh, let's see. One thing. Uh, peas. I'll take those and just eat them. Let's see. Leather. Cloth. Scrap you. Glass. I don't know. Oh, I was about to say. I don't know where I got the glass. I'm just leaving stuff stacked here. I'll come back and uh, move some of the stuff out of the way in a little bit. Ah, oh, book. And a little four sledgy. Nice. Another BDU and some cash. Ammo. More ammo and painkillers. A syringe. I don't need that. Level 5 baton. Let me see. I can scrap you, but you probably won't go in there. Let me see. I can just move you over here. And food and beer. One more over here, and that one might be the end of it. I'm not taking either one. I'll... Yeah. No, I'm not taking either one of you. Okay. Oh, we got one up top. Also, I need to just look from up here and see if I got anything different. Painkillers and all right. I need to put you in the chest here. I almost forgot that way. I don't forget where you are Level five is the one I just got level four. It'd be great when we get the robotic skill up a little bit higher I can take that and put both of them over there and then one of them won't be just inundated all the time Very very cool. We s wait I'll take here, here there that way the bag will go away. All right. We made it We survived another horde. Oh, I do you need to check real quick. I don't remember where we were but I'm sure I'll put it on the screen here. Editing cap will remember to put that on here. We're good on that one. Let's see. Did we... Nothing else down here. We got one zombie kill. We didn't see any birds at all. But there's our stats. Still no deaths. On to day 64 now. So all right then. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. If you're new here... Make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, we'll catch you guys later.